What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Resport, your weekly bite-sized esports news and score report from around the world. My name is Nestor. This is the Torbid Gaming Network. Let's get into it. Quickly recapping, Rocket League NRG and Team Envy met in the finals of the first North American Winter Regional event in what can only be described as an OT brawl. After dominating Rogue in four games, Envy was playing in full force and earned their spot through the winner's bracket. Though Energy had a tough first weekend, having been upset by Ghost, they were in beast mode coming into Sunday, taking sweeps against Ghost and Pittsburgh, outscoring those opponents 28-4 before beating Rogue in six games for their spot in the finals. If there was one match you want to go rewatch, it's the grand finals between Envy and NRG. Envy opened the match by playing strong with a heavy confidence in their offensive play. They opened the scoring in the first game with two goals and proceeded to hold off energy for four minutes. I want to be clear, just because Envy was able to hold off energy, that doesn't mean that energy wasn't playing like themselves. Envy was just making better challenges and touches. In game two, energy would come alive and start the scoring first by creating space using their bag full of advanced mechanics to keep Envy on their toes. Ultimately, they would come up short as Envy took the win 4-3 after a series of double commits and kickoff mistakes. Now, in Game 3, that's where it starts to get interesting. Starting with Game 3, the next five games would go to overtime. It's worth noting that in order for Energy to win the regional, they would have to win two best of seven series as they came up through the loser's bracket. Game 3 was a display of fundamental Rocket League as Envy beat Energy by continuing the constant challenges in the midfield and would score on a timely demo, but last second heroics by Justin Energy would send us to an OT that would only last 22 seconds. In game four, Energy seemed to run away with it in the start, scoring three in the first minute and a half, but Envy would slowly chip away at the Energy defense, tying it up with a minute and a half to spare. Both teams would score again in the last 20 seconds before we entered the longest OT of the series. NRG's defense was held together by Justin, but ultimately would come up short as Atomic would make a rebound play off of a clear from the back wall, and just like that, Envy was on match point. However, that would not stop NRG from coming back in games 5 and 6 to force a game 7. Game 7 is a good display of what happened all series to NRG. They would take the lead early, and slowly but surely, Envy would chip away at the defense and capitalize on the few mistakes NRG made, forcing OT after OT. In fact, in games 2-6, through six, both teams came back from 3-point deficits to win in OT twice. Scoring in regulation was a little more back and forth in game 7, as Energy would score early twice before Atomic would respond twice and tie the game. Justin would respond with a flip reset to take the lead, and again, Envy had an answer and his name was Atomic. In overtime, Envy smothered Energy, half rotating on every attack until finally a clear into the middle would give Turbo Pulsa what he needed to close out the game. There's not really much I can say except GG Envy. <laughs> GG. In CSGO, the Blast Premier Fall Showdown took place this weekend and sought to crown the two remaining seeds for the Fall 2020 Finals. Some of the top organizations in the esport were in attendance, but this weekend belonged to Furia and Mouse Esports. Furia took a 2-1 win over Isaris before meeting Virtus Pro in the round of 8. It's worth noting, Furia didn't exactly have an easy against Isaris, taking a beating in the first game, 16-5, before returning that beating, 16-4, and having a tight game 3 with a 16-14 scoreline. All that to say, they weren't going to be cruising against Virtus Pro either. The first game, they did pick up the win with a 16-6 scoreline in dominant fashion, but Game 2, Virtus Pro responded by holding the lead from Game 1 and never looking back. In Game 3, however, the Panther prevailed as Furia toppled Virtus Pro 16-9 before meeting Team Liquid in the round of 4. In the first game against Team Liquid, Furia would drop 10 of the first 15 rounds, and after switching sides, Furia came alive, bringing their total score up to 13, but would drop the last 3 games and lose the match 13-16. However, in games 2 and 3, Fury would shake it off and put on a show, taking out Team Liquid 16-6 and 16-9 in games 2 and 3. In game 2, Fury would only drop two rounds before the side switch. After the side switch, Team Liquid showed some signs of life, but ultimately would not overcome the 11-point deficit. Game 3 showed more life from Team Liquid, as at half they were down 9-6, to six, but again, the Panther prevails, as Fury would take seven games, dropping only three 
for their win and their spot at the Fall 2020 Finals. Now Sports, on the other hand, was off to a hot start in their path to their qualification, taking out the Swedish esports organization Godsend with a 2-0 scoreline in which they didn't allow more than one point in the second half of either game. In the round of eight, they would face off against Heroic, who came out swinging in game one. They would end the half in the lead, and though Mouse started coming back, Heroic would take the first point, 16 to 14. But that would be the most we saw from Heroic, as games two and three would fall heavily in favor of Mouse Sports, who would drop no more than five rounds in either first half. With those games behind them, Mouse Sports faced their final challenge in Cloud9 and would make good work of it, taking the first game 16 to 7, allowing only one round after the half. In Game 2, Cloud9 made their presence known, taking the lead after the half 11-7, before succumbing to the pressure of Mouse Sports, who would take seven rounds in a row, drop two, and then close out the round of four, beating Cloud9 16-13. Congratulations to both Mouse and Furia. The Blast Premier Fall Finals kicks off December 8th, and we'll be here with our coverage. This week was a busy one in Rainbow Six with both the 6th November Major, Asia Pacific, and Brasileiro finishing up Sunday night. Cloud9 swept through the bracket, knocking out both Guts Gaming and Cyclops to earn their spot in the finals. The other end of the bracket saw Xavier taking out Fav Gaming in a rousing 2-0 win. Unfortunately, they would meet their end against Giants Gaming in the semifinal fight, sending Giants into the grand finals to face off against Cloud9. For the 5th place decider, Fav and Guts faced off in the best of one that saw Guts take the win seven rounds to two, and in the third place decider, Xavier took the win over Cyclops seven rounds to four. In the finals, Giants Gaming came out swinging and it worked. They would sweep Cloud9 in a devastating fashion. Congratulations to Giants Gaming, your six November APAC champions. On the other side of the world, we saw the playoffs for Brasileiro come to a close with the four teams making it to the finals being Made in Brazil, Team 1 Esports, Ninjas Pajamas, and Team Liquid. In the first match of the semifinals, we saw Made in Brazil sweep Team 1 to secure their position in the finals. The other side of the bracket saw Team Liquid face off against Ninjas and Pajamas, where a well-fought 2-1 victory saw Team Liquid earn their spot. Made in Brazil truly showed they deserved to win by sweeping Team Liquid in the grand finals to become your 2020 Brasileiro champions. That'll do it for us here at Resport. TGN wants to remind you that we are live on Twitch four to five days a week. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at 7 p.m. and Saturday, Sunday at 1 p.m. So click the link in the description down below, hit the follow button, and join us next time we're live. While you're down there, don't forget to hit the like button to help us reach more esports fans around the world. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new content. And leave a comment down below letting us know what esport you want us to cover. Until next time, my name is Nestor, and this is the Torby Gaming Network. Remember to have fun, get immersed, and do epic shit.